Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the renowned artist James McNeil Whistler. Born in 1834, Whistler had a life full of fascinating experiences that greatly influenced his incredible body of work. One of his early influences was his time spent in Europe, particularly in Dordrecht, the Netherlands. Whistler created a masterpiece called Gold and Brown Dordrecht, inspired by the enchanting landscapes he encountered during his stay. The rich colors and textures in this painting truly capture the essence of his travels. In 1862, Whistler unveiled his iconic work Symphony in White No. 1, The White Girl. The simplicity and elegance of this piece reflect Whistler's fascination with symbolism and his desire to incorporate it into his art. It's as if he's inviting us into a world where every brushstroke has a deeper meaning. During his time in Warping, London, between 1860 and 1864, Whistler immersed himself in the picturesque scenes of the city's waterfront. His painting Warping beautifully portrays the dynamic atmosphere of the docks and captures the hustle and bustle of daily life along the river. Another captivating piece from this period is grey and silver old Battersea Reach from 1863. With its delicate balance of colors, Whistler invites us to admire the tranquil scenery of the River Thames while contemplating the passing of time. In 1861, Whistler created a white note, a stunning illustration of a single white flower against a dark background. This painting demonstrates his skill in capturing the purity and simplicity of a singular subject, using light and shadow to create a sense of depth. Whistler's love for music is evident in his work Harmony in Green and Rose, The Music Room, painted between 1860 and 1861. This masterpiece invites us to step into a serene, harmonious scene where colors and patterns blend seamlessly together, much like the sounds of a symphony. During his time exploring the frozen Thames in 1860, Whistler created the Thames in Ice, a captivating depiction of a frozen river with boats trapped in its icy grip. This painting showcases his ability to capture the mood and atmosphere of a frozen winter landscape. In 1858, Whistler painted Boutique de Boucher, the butcher's shop, a scene that perfectly encapsulates the bustling energy and vibrant colors of a Victorian-era market. One of his later works, The Princess of the Land of Porcelain from 1864, showcases Whistler's fascination with Asian art and culture. The intricate patterns and delicate details transport us to a dreamlike world where traditional and modern influences merge. Lastly, we have Arrangement in Black and Gold, Comte Robert de Montesquieu Fezensac, created in 189. This portrait captures the elegance and sophistication of Whistler's subject while highlighting his mastery of composition. James McNeil Whistler's life experiences greatly shaped his artistic vision and led him to create a diverse and captivating body of work. From his travels in Europe to his fascination with music and Asian art, Whistler's paintings speak volumes about his unique perspective on the world. Thank you.